Hello everyone, welcome to MATLAB Helper. In this video, we will be discussing root locus and how we plot root locus for different types of systems in MATLAB. Let us start from the basics. What is a control system? A control system is a machine or equipment that gives us an output based on our input. Almost everything we see around us is an example of a control system. A car running at a speed of 100 km per hour or a lift inside a building can be considered a control system. By giving the input as the accelerator pedal or the push of a button, we can go to the desired speed and the desired floor respectively. Like an immersion water heater, even the simplest things are examples of a control system. Control systems are of two types, open loop systems and closed loop systems. There is no feedback from the output given to the input in an open loop system. An immersion water heater is an example of an open loop system where on dipping the heater in a bucket of water, the water gets seated and heated and doesn't stop. On the other hand, a closed loop system has the feedback coming from the output and the output is constantly monitored. The compressor automatically gets turned on and off in an air conditioner based on the temperature we set. Hence, it is an example of a closed loop system. This is the block diagram of a control system. It has an input, output and also the feedback block. The transfer function of this control system is determined by the ratio of the output to the input. So, the transfer function is a ratio consisting of a numerator and a denominator. Poles are the frequencies for which the numerator and denominator of a transfer function have zero value. These values also determine the stability of the system. Based on the number of poles in an open loop transfer function, here are some types of control systems. Type 0 system. This is the system in which the open loop transfer function has no pole at the origin. In type 1 systems, the transfer function has one pole at the origin. In type 2 systems, the open loop transfer function has two poles at the origin. These are the examples of the different types of systems. The type of system is determined by the number of poles it has. If a system has n number of poles, it will be considered a type n system. Now let us get to root locus and learn some of the terms related to root locus. In the root locus technique, the location of roots is calculated along with their locus of movement and other relevant information. The information will be used to de determine the system's performance. The advantages of using root locus technique are that it is easier to implement than other methods and can help us determine the system's per performance. The root locus of any control system has the characteristic equation 1 plus gs hs equals to 0. This is the value of k that is given at any point on the root locus. Gain margin refers to the amount of gain which can be increased or decreased without making the system unstable. The gain margin is directly proportional to stability. It is usually expressed in decibels. Phase margin, similar to gain margin, can be increased or decreased without making the system unstable. It is basically the phase which we are referring to here. The grain crossover frequency is at which the open loop gain first reaches the value 1. Similarly to gain frequency, the phase crossover frequency is the angle at which the phase reaches minus 180 degree. Now, let us find the values for all these types of systems using MATLAB. Before jumping to the MATLAB code, here is a quick reminder for you to subscribe to our channel for much awesome upcoming content on MATLAB. Only 5.9% of people have subscribed. Please increase the figure. Our experiment will need the control system toolbox to operate. Now, let us run the code. So, it has asked us for three different inputs, 0, 1 and 2 for analyzing the different types of system. Since we will be analyzing a type 0 system first, so let me input 0. 
This is the root locus for a type 0 system. Now I will be selecting an arbitrary point on the graph because of the R log find function. After selecting an arbitrary point, we have finally got the system analysis. Like these are the parameters. Now I will be running the code again and now this time I will be checking the analysis for a type 1 system. So I will be inputting 1 and pressing enter. This is the root locus for a type 1 system and similar to a type 0 system, I will be plotting an arbitrary point on the graph because of the R log find function. Now we have again got the parameters for the arbitrary point. So we have analyzed a type 0 and a type 1 system. Can you try and analyze the type 2 system yourself? We also have a course on control systems which covers a lot more content like time and frequency domain analysis, space state analysis, steady state error, and stability and instability of systems. Purchase our course and get access to all the premium content. Become a master in control systems and get a MATLAB helper certificate included with your booking on scoring 60% or more in the course quiz. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our feature. Happy MATLABing!